right, we're checking out the only game where the only thing potholes do is punch holes in my sanity. It's GTA. This is an untimed board from Alex, but there's a couple of rules. It is all about potholes. I have to use the vehicles that he has provided, but again, the vehicles do not respawn and do not get healed. So it's basically one vehicle, and when you use it, you're done. You can see we're starting here with normal potholes. I think I can probably make this with just a long, speedy jump. We do have hydraulics again. That is something that he has given us because he mentioned to me that it is impossible to beat this board unless you have them. All right. So now these ones, oh, they're getting deeper too. So these ones aren't just wide. The potholes here are getting, le oh, the front end's coming up, are getting legitimately deeper each time. Oh yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. Well. That's one car down. Maybe I could save this. Literally one minute later. I can't save this. Again, though, he's given me a metric ton of different cars to utilize. Now, he said he can... He believes I could beat it in a few of them, but realistically, there's only one that works. You complained that seven miles was too long, so... I cut this one down to 6.9. Are you kidding me? Oh, so this is called growing potholes. So after I beat this, then we finally open up the boss pothole, he said. It's like a raid boss, but it's a pothole. What is this? What did they say? What did they say? They say like meatball potholes? Oh, alcoholic potholes. Don't ask me where I got meatball from. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, oh, 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 no. Oh, he put stop sticks in here too. Oh, this is awful. Oh, I can kind of make this if I wiggle it. I do, you know, with, with the hydraulics, maybe I can kind of pump. Oh God. So, um, I was rocking this thing back and forth for a while. Yes, yeah, spoil alert. Didn't work. I can't have this thing just sitting there inside of my course. <laughs> I had to clear it. It's gonna just be there. Let's see. Well, last time we won with something kind of like right in the middle. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and use something that's absolutely ridiculous because clearly that's going to work this time. The last time I used a quad, it let me down almost immediately. This is the type of quad that you buy your eight-year-old inside of Target. Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. This quad's amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is happening. Oh! Well. You know what? In my brand new weight loss plan, I just I just dropped 15 pounds. It was 15 pounds of my flesh, but it was 15 pounds. Well, Quad, just like just like your father before you, you've let me down. Uh ooh. All right, let's go. Let's go not totally big, but medium big. Right here, plenty of trunk space. I can leave all of my aspirations in the trunk. <laughs> All of my hopes and dreams. I have plenty of storage for them because obviously they're not going to be coming with me. This one's pretty good. I just want to get past the alcoholic potholes. We haven't even gotten that far yet. Okay, this part is really good. Oh yeah, this is working out great. So now there are stop... Okay, so there's one stop stick right there and I'm pretty sure there's two more. And go... Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, this is great. Big wheelbase. Big wheelbase. Nice. I thought that was going to... I thought ball potholes. <laughs> so are they dynamic balls or are they are they static balls? Because those are two completely different problems that these could give me. If they're static balls, then I just have to worry about bouncing off of them. If they're dynamic balls, I actually don't know if I can complete this challenge. Because <laughs> they're gonna move. Oh no, they're dynamic! <laughs> no. No! no! <laughs> oh god. Let me go ahead and slither my way out of my red coffin there. I'm gonna punch these balls. I'm gonna kick these balls. Because these these balls are gonna make me hate my life. I can try a buggy. Yeah, let's do let's do the buggy. I'm really trying to figure out it has a lot of speed. So that's what I hope. I hope I can just jump the balls. The buggy with the hydraulics should do fantastically. Look at that drop! On the suspension. Oh, go! Whoa! Sticks to landing. No problem. Totally knew I was going to be able to do that. Didn't even cross my mind that I was going to fail. So I don't have to worry about speed here because I'm going to get stop sticked anyway. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm I'm losing part of my <laughs> part of my hood, but it's okay. I. You gotta be kidding me. 
Oh, it's only rear-wheel drive. I need a four-wheel drive vehicle to be able to go across the alcoholic potholes. What does alcoholism and four-wheel drive have in common? Ev what? <laughs> anyway, I was gonna say, what do they have in common? Everything. Ow, I just broke both of my knees. Now I'm stuck down here, aren't I? There's only one way out. Like this. Maybe something bigger. Like I said, if I can stretch this thing, not huge, but six wheels. Yeah, if I can stretch it all the way across the alcohol and the balls. Alex, where do you come up with the, with the props to use for this? Plus we got plenty of distance on the hydraulics. Sweet, six wheel drive, baby. Oh yeah. This is probably gonna be the easiest one across the alcohol. I'm not even, gonna, oh, I, do, I did leave a car in the middle there. Or on the side. Alcohol, no problem. When you've got, I'm not losing this car on this one. Not today, Satan. How am I gonna turn this? Um, I don't wanna. <laughs> don't mind, don't mind me. Grace just doing a 39 point turn. That worked out well. You know it's bad when you have to parallel park on the alcohol. Okay, so apparently the balls don't respawn. So I have to just make this. I really need to do this like first try with the balls. All right, big, yes. Oh, oh no, 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 don't ruin the balls. Do not ruin the balls, good. Shed it a little weight too. One door, down. Wasn't using that door anyway. <laughs> don't use my seatbelt either. I'm waiting to go flying through the windshield. All right, we want maximum speed for this. We're gonna pop the hydraulics right before we hit the balls. And... Oh, yes! <laughs> Perfect. And I still have all four balls there. How about that? JK. Oh, never mind. Apparently the balls don't care about my grenades. There's only one line of balls. Push it. Perfect. Okay, this car is perfect for this right now. I actually don't know what can beat this. Because with six wheel drive, big long wheelbase. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's my bumper. What is this? What are these? What is this? What is happening? I don't know what this is, but I mean, I think I just drive straight across it. Perfect. Big potholes. That sounds very plain. Oh, it's it's literally just gigantic ditches in the road. So as long as I don't angle off to the side and go out, there goes my hood, and go flying into the desert, I think we'll be fine. Okay, this is a serious sized pothole. <laughs> potholes are getting kind of ridiculous here, man. All right, no problem. And I can't even see the ground now. That's how big this pothole is. Yeet. Moving. Po moving potholes? What? Is it? Are those stop signs? It's pothole stop signs, Alex! <laughs> oh god! Maximum speed. The only way to do this. You do not want to do this slow. I want to catch all the signs in a row. Okay, they are staggered slightly. There we go. Look, 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 look. Perfect. Now just keep, keep the move. Oh, they're not staggered at all. They're just completely random. Nice. Uh, uh, just jump it. Yeah! <laughs> 360, baby! All right, we're doing really good. This car is the chosen car. I might actually get done with this, you know, in a reasonable time. Perfect. And... What is this? What is this? Oh, it's the, it's the flight sign. I didn't even see it. I thought it was just a giant gap in the ground. It's the take flight. Oh, my car is getting really derpy. It's the take flight sign. It opens and closes, so you can kind of shorten the distance on that pothole a little bit. Geometry potholes. Like, like my high school class? Oh, it's an octagon. Are they all just shapes? Well, the octagon doesn't sound that good. Oh, it's totally fine. And then, oh, it's a square. Oh, no! 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 The square is gonna be really hard. I'm trying to see if there's any way I can get this car out of here. I don't think there is. Cause this car was doing really well. Okay, I can climb up this way and see what we have coming up. All right, I got good news and I got bad news. The next shape is a triangle. <laughs> don't mind me. Just taking my bags of golden money inside of my golden truck while I drop the chassis across all of these demonic potholes. Past the golden alcoholism right there. This is good too. This is a pretty good car. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, yeah. I keep underestimating the stupid potholes. Okay, so I just learned something from Alex. 
While I cannot use the same cars again, he says I do have to reset the board because I legitimately cannot finish it without the balls. All right, though, we still have quite a few choices. Monster truck, liberator, got everything. Now, the last time I messed up with this was all the way at the end on the speed bumps. So as long as I keep it straight, I don't go flying off the side. I can probably just jump this car here. It, it wouldn't even matter here, watch. Boom, right over the car. Don't even care. As long as I keep it straight and it doesn't bounce and go into the middle of nowhere, I can even get past areas where the balls aren't reset. I mean, I, I probably need them here, but that first ball jump is easy. Second ball jump, watch this, watch this. No pro ah, come on! My tire is so big. I can almost touch the edge of this, this pothole just on my side. I'm trying to hop this. I, you don't understand. I want this, I want to beat it with this car so bad. There's no way I can do it. I tried. Listen, this is one of the biggest options we have and it did freakishly well the last time I used it on the speed bump board. Okay, good. So far so good, okay. As long as it does good against the alcohol and good against the balls, then we have geometry after the balls. Doing great. Doing great in the alcoholism department. No problem drinking and driving with this vehicle. Jumping the balls right there. Jumping the secondary balls right there. Third balls. Okay, this thing's amazing. This is, this is the golden truck for anything that has nothing to do with legitimately driving a vehicle in GTA. <laughs> okay. If ever I need to do something that makes no sense and is needlessly stupid, this is the truck to do it in. And you can fit a lot of bodies in the back. Not that you would need to. I'm just saying if you had to, you could fit a lot of bodies back there. Moving potholes. First one, easy to do all timed. Second one, easy to do, all timed. Although they were staggered the last time, that was weird. This one moves, but I can jump it. This one moves, but I can jump it. This one moves and it's getting kind of wide. And then we have to take flights. Just go, just go, Greg. And then we have geometry. Big jump. Oh yeah, this is, this is it, this is it, square. Bam, right there. Okay, listen. <laughs> I kind of lost my nerve at the last moment because I don't want the chassis to get stuck between the two parts of the triangle. I'm trying to figure out if I want to hit this thing in the middle or I want to go to the edge and I'm going to do it on the edge. All right, as much space as possible. Want as much speed as possible. And we're going to come at this from the side. Yeah, the side. The side is definitely the way to do this. Look, look, look. Perfect. Yes. Okay, it's another one, but I'll just do what I did before. Good. What is this? What is this? Is this a pothole or is this a big jump? What is this? There's nothing here. It's just enormous. It's just an enormous pothole. Oh, I guess it's a rectangle. <laughs> okay, we did get a lot farther though, so we're getting there. I mean, maybe this is stupid, but I need to give it a shot. So here's my plan. The tires are so big and the truck is so long that I don't have to do anything. I can just sit back, keep the gas down, drive the gigantic truck, and maybe it can't get stuck anywhere, or if it does get stuck, I got stuck immediately and now I regret my entire decision-making ability. Motorcycle, lots of speed. If we don't see, you don't have to do the pothole if you just wheelie over it. Hey, ho! Oh, sticks the landing. I broke both of my ankles, but it's a motorcycle. What was I really using them for besides changing the gears? And my rear brake. <laughs> you know what I forgot? My helmet. Obviously, if I have my helmet on, it'll distribute the weight a little bit better. On the, oh yeah. On those wheelies. There's not a lot of weight because there's not a lot inside of my head. <laughs> so, there we go. Uh, don't know how this is gonna do on the out. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I forgot that this has a stop sticks too. Okay. Oh, not in the middle, not in the middle, not in the middle. No, 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 I slipped in between them. I just fell through the planet. Oh, this thing is stacked. What kind of engine is in this? Oh yeah. Oh, we're flying. This thing is legitimately just jumping the potholes. How much does this thing weigh? <laughs> I guess it really doesn't matter. It's four wheel drive, right? Like, it, ob it obviously is. There's no way it's not. Beautiful. 
over the balls. This thing's so... Ah, the front end is down real low. Ah, uh, maybe I could just leave this here and jump on top of it. <laughs> Check this thing out. Right? This is a six-wheeler, like the other six-wheeler, but this one is even longer. So that means it's better. It's like I took two cars and I just ran out of inspiration on what to do with either one of them, so I stitched them together. Just welded two different frames together. The shocks on these things is amazing. All right, how, how good is this at bouncing off of my balls? I shouldn't say my balls. I left that there specifically so I could jump over it. So watch this, watch this. Whoop. <laughs> I can only do that once though, so. Oh, it's too heavy. The balls just explode up. Maybe I should hit the balls from the side. Okay, I'm running out of options, but this one looks really good. Super fast, lots of play on the suspension. No problem with these potholes. Look at this. I have a feeling alcoholic potholes backhand them. Watch this, right across the face. No problem. Not even worried. Right there. Uh, pick a ball. We're gonna pick a ball. There we go. Right ball. Watch this. Right ball. See, I was going in the middle, and that was the problem. You just, you really need to pick a ball <laughs> and then focus on it. Big potholes. Jump it. Perfect. And then jump it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a dolphin. It's like, it's like a graceful dolphin in the ocean. Porpoising. There it is. Right out of the water. You ready for it? You ready for it? Hold on. Watch, watch. And boop. Now we've got moving potholes. Again, as long as I line this up correctly, this isn't a problem. Moving potholes, there we go. And now we have, we're gonna hit the one on the left. Okay, uh, one on the, it uh, doesn't matter, they're all exactly the same, doesn't matter, they're all exactly the same. Ah, take flight, ah, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh, 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 oh yes, yes, no, no, oh, oh. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna save this. I don't care what it takes. All right, maybe if I, I feel like if I pop my, my hydraulics at just the right time, I can get this front end out of here. Like put the hydraulics down, pop them up, and then crawl out, All right? Call, maybe if you hit the side, crawl out like this, please work. Oh, 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 I can touch, I can touch the wall. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay, if I wriggle it, it pops. Ah! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm doing this until it works. I'm not losing this car. Come on. Let me have it. <gasps> oh! All right. We're going to back up. We're going to get as much space as possible. And we're not going to go in the middle. We're going to pick a side. Pick the right side. We're going right side. Ready? Watch this. Boom. Is long. Okay. So now the big jump on the square. Got it. Hydraulics, baby. Full front flip. Keep the speed, Gray. Keep the speed, pick left. Good, all right, now just keep the speed. Full tilt, pop the hydraulics, yes! Yes! Oh my God, windmill potholes. This thing has given me just no end of pain, and now I have to deal with windmill potholes. After I beat this, I still have to beat the boss pothole. <laughs> We're just gonna send it. I just gotta hope I time this right. Here we go. Just keep the foot on the gas. Keep the foot on the gas. Go, 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 go. Jump. No problem. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. This is good timing. This is good timing. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, we have a joke. Oh, yes. Onto the boss pothole. Welcome to the boss pothole. Alex says I can use every vehicle here to get across it because it's meant to be impossible. Oh, there's a cyber truck here. Let's try the cyber truck. Now, I kind of wanted to be surprised, so I haven't really looked to see exactly how far this pothole is. It looks like basically just any other pothole. I mean, I can see a beginning and an end to it, see it? Maybe it's not that bad. Uh, oh my God. Why is there another car just sitting in here? Is this like foreshadowing? Uh, yeah, you know what, six wheeler. We're gonna need a ton of speed. We still have hydraulics, so that's fine, but this pothole is less of a pothole and more like an actual full lake. It's like I'm jumping from one state to the next. Did you really have to make it quite this long? <laughs> All right, so jump and, oh my God. Ah, uh, you know, I'm starting, to, I'm starting to realize something. This car here, I think the reason that he put that car there is because he wants me to fill this entire pothole up with cars and then use the cars 
to ramp the last car over the pothole. So it's kind of like which which car can legitimately make it. You can see he also put a pothole behind me because he doesn't want me to have unlimited distance to wind this up. Should I leave it like this and like bounce a car off it? Kind of vertical? You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave this vertical. Oh, Badger. You're the one. I know you are. You've got wheels on the back. Are you ready? <gasps> yes! Oh, 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 no, 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 so I went back. I don't need any of those other cars. I already know how to beat this in two cars. You ready? We're gonna take this truck and it's not gonna make it. We're gonna use it as a stepping stone. Take the truck and we're gonna kind of aim it right in the middle, about like here, in the water. And I want it touching this wall. Now we're gonna grab the Badger. The Badger was clearly the one to do this with. When I did it with that one single car almost, I knew this was the one. 100% success rate, you ready, right? You ready? It's gonna work, it's gonna work, I know it is. We just gotta line up perfectly. I don't even think I need the whole distance. This is probably fine. And let's well, up, ramp it, perfect! And we have a winner, yes! Well, I jumped over so many potholes, there's now a pothole in my soul. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.